Hi YouTube, Novastar here again. Today I'm bringing you an updated deck profile on my Red Yellow Star deck. This is my competitive build, this is my favourite build, the one that I find the most fun. Um, before I get into the deck profile, I just want to state that I am recording this off my phone. All my videos are recorded off my phone at the moment. Um, I'm just trying to, kind of have to save one morning up because I'm going on holiday soon. So when I get back, I'm going to be getting a camera then. Hopefully. Um, remember to leave any comments below and I'm going to get straight into step profile now I'm going to start off with different this time I'm going to start off with my climaxes and before anyone says anything yes my sleeves are very nice there he is. and they are slightly pervy but yeah um, I do double sleeve my sleeves so they don't get damaged right anyway starting off with climaxes I run 3 star splash Spin trigger, very handy to trigger this against mirror matches that with the marker sooner. Because if it gets too strong, you can't beat over it. This just balances it back to the hand. Problem solved. But I tend to not have problems with it anyway. Three, penis resurrection. Uh, select one avatar, well, one character basically. Two K power plus one soul. Draw a card so you don't minus for it. And then the last two climaxes, two of this awakening feelings promos as gates because. I would run more gates if we could, but I don't have more of this card. So, onto the level threes now. I run. You can see them so in the other way. Two beacon of hope as soon as I do not run its combo, as you can see. It's in here for the game ender. Basically, it can if they cancel on attack if they on the turn it's played. If they cancel its attack, burden for one damage, which can be cancelled. So if they get two climaxes in a row, it does happen. It's funny when it does because you know you've just basically just can't stop them from cancelling two other attacks because you've just made them waste two climaxes on one attack, so it's pretty funny. Two of as soon as commanding strength, heals on play. On attack, you can pay one stock, ditch one card from your hand. All your characters gain 500 power plus one soul. Can be handy when you want to risk over swinging, or it can be handy when. Um, you want to try and get up to full, get up the cards like your other character's soul up to for precise damage. So it's pretty handy, and it heals. So, and then for the last level of level threes, I run four, like a younger sister Silica, because it's good. Heals on play. You can it has combos with Penis Resurrection. When it attacks, you can salvage up to one character from your waiting room. And put it to your hand, and then you can select one card in your opponent's waiting room or one character, and put it on top of the deck. So you guarantee one damage. If you have three on the field and you're facing level threes, you can pretty much guarantee three damage. You can plus soul, like power up this one, side attack, oh, put top deck, side attack, oh, put top deck, attack, oh, put top deck, deals three damage. There's a way to guarantee damage. Very rarely do I do that, like, but it does happen. That's a good level 3. On to the level 2s, I play 2 of this Elizabeth level assist. 500 times level in front. On play, you can pay 2 stock to salvage one character from your waiting room. Very rarely do I do that, but the option is nice to have. What did this change? Just uh, very rarely, it's here for a tech card, really. Um, and it's hollow, so it makes the deck look pretty. Um, it's just here for a tech card. On play, you can select, select one of your characters against 500. And... You can pay to ditch a card from your hand, send this to waiting room, bring a beacon of hope sooner from the waiting room to the field in the same position I think it is. So it's not bad, you can get your beacon of hope out early game, can come in handy. I don't sometimes I'll just use it to clock and for level up for you and stuff like that. Filters and stuff like that. But on the other occasion I will use this to get it out early game because they don't want a lot of level two beat sticks, so yeah, and it's handy. One lightning flash is in just in case I go against change deck, especially with Love Live coming out. And Love Live has a lot of change. So this card can come with more handy now. Oh, well, they can change into a level 3. You can just whack it straight into stock. Problem solved. Yeah, a lot, there's a lot of debate about this card, like how people hate it, because it gives your opponent stock. But you see, I only keep it on the field for one, for the turns that I need it. And once I don't need it, I play straight over it. I don't just wait for it to die. I'll just play over it. It's not a problem. On to level 1s. Three base use Elizabeth, which combos with the gates, sinking warmth that I said mentioned earlier. 
basically when it attacks you can pay one if that's in your climax zone um, all your weapon characters gain 2500 powers so it just powers up your characters really I run three Elizabeth changes um, clothes gains 500 power for every other avatar or net character you have so it's 6500 uh, 6, with fulfilled I run to this self sacrifice event. Pay one for plus 3500 power to an attack target. One of this splitable count, gear 2k to 1 0 back up. Uh, select one of your avatars when it's been attacked, gains 1k power. If you have three or more avatar and deck characters, select one of your characters and it gains a k. So it is splitable. It is, is it three or more? Is it two or more? Oh, it's two or more, so it's even better. Sorry about that. Three. I see the take shower. I like this card. Like I didn't used to like it. I used to hate it. Found it was pointless because I would get nothing but climaxes underneath it. Now it's not so bad. I have more luck with it. Uh, when I was playing it in my red, yellow, green build, I wasn't using it enough. And when I did use it, it was bad. So. But now just red yellow, it's a lot better for I find. Um it's a good card. And if you get it out early, your opponent and you get his effect off like get up to like three markers underneath it, it's really hard for your opponent to get over. They tend to struggle with it. Um and then I run three of the, my last level one, instead of invites the party. If you start off at level one with two of these, at least two of these in your hand, and star splash, you can set up for your next level one gameplay. You can get your level assist. You can game for level threes. You can just prepare, and it does, and it's a really good card for advantage because you do gain t like card advantage as well. Yeah, you have to pay stock, but you know. On to my level zeros, I run into. Pay one, ditch one, search. Two five silicas, you know, same as the character, but it's silica. So it's better. Two of this zero zero Elizabeth. Suicider. Quite handy. I would I might run three again, but at the minute I'm finding two very, very like a nice number. Sometimes I find that I get it too much, even at two. I'm running two of this silica brainstorm. Uh, pay one, tap this, well, tap any two characters. Mill four for each climax you hit, salvage a character. So it's kind of useful. Two of this silica likes to date. 4k, zero, zero. Uh, during at the beginning of your climax phase, check the top card of your deck. If it's a climax, rest this character. It sucks when it hits, but it very rarely does because there's only eight climaxes in the deck. So it very rarely hits. When it does, it is horrible, but stuff happens really. Uh, I'll do that. I run one of this zero zero five five hundred. Basically, it's silica, but it's kind of uh, If you have three or more climaxes in your waiting room, top card go off your deck goes to clock. So yeah, but I will be taking this out for another instant invites the party when not invites the party even. I shoot the lights on sofa. It's in the mail, so when it gets here, this will be replacing it. But for now, this does come in handy. Three, as soon as married life assist. Standard, 500 in front. And whenever you play a climax, select when your character is against a K. That's pretty good. One of this, as soon as brainstorm, which I might take out for another silicone one. Or for the suicider. Debating that, but this is quite handy as well. It's just spammable. And then two invites the parties because check top card of the deck if it isn't an avatar, it goes to clock. Who cares? The entire deck's pretty much avatar. So it very rarely happens. That is my Sao deck. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, sorry for the vo my voice and the shit at the minute because I am ill. But I was bored and I wanted to get this done for you guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe like and comment let me know any changes you might make in the deck um, so any suggestions so on leave them in the comments yeah thanks for watching youtube bye